Hello again my carpy friends, out on a new adventure this trip, totally new adventure for us this one. Out with Archie again, but we're trying to catch him his first 20 pounder, hopefully. We've come to a really small lake, I think it's about probably the smallest lake I've ever fished I think. It's absolutely tiny, it's called um, Tysel Hall Lake over in Bradford. Lovely little place, nice pads and stuff, two small islands. Quite busy today, there's only one swim left, but you never know. Like I say, with these small waters, they don't like a lot of action, do they really? Lots of lines in the water and stuff, they don't like that, so just see how it goes. But like I say, this one's all about Archie, so just see how it goes. He's absolutely buzzing his bits off. It's the first time he's been down with me, actually car fishing with two rods each. So as you can imagine, he's proper buzzing. And he just can't wait to get his first one. So we'll see how that goes. The main man's just sat down there, right beside his rods where he's never moved from all day. Absolutely living the dream he is. I'll spin round and I'll show you him. Two six. There he is, by the bivvy. Bivvy's already up because it's been absolutely lashing down, so we're all set up. It's almost tea time actually, so it's getting on a bit really. It's a bit later than I thought, but it'll could short the vlog a bit but not too much. So there's Archie, two six. Hey everyone. Just trying to catch his first 20 aren't we son? Yeah, hope so. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. You never know. No, I know. It's Always him with a chance, as long as them baits are in the water aren't they? Yeah, there's a lot of fish showing anyway isn't there? Yeah, there's been a few small ones and stuff showing like yeah. but as you can see the lake itself is absolutely tiny. That's only a Underarm cast on all on both rods, like really. But lovely little place, and the carp are in here, so you just never know. We'll definitely be trying. We've got two nights, like I say, it's nearly tea time now, so I'll get back to you if anything occurs, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers now. A little baby one for starters here. Wasn't sure we were going to catch out this trip the way it was going. A little baby coming. Not bad for starters. It was in some pads as well, so it scrapped well. It took a bit of getting out, but it's a barbless hook roll as well, so you have to be careful, like. But we, we did it. Cracking little fish. Spin him round quick. Like I say, he's only a baby, but still gets the old heart going, doesn't it? There we are, 
How's that? Happy days. Right, we'll get him put back. surprise. Nice little 10 pound common. Happy days. Out of some pads down the side here. Bit of a hairy fight through the pads but cracked it. Nice one. Just need that to try and get one now. And it's panini time. So I'm going to crack on do these paninis for me and Arch. He's got a bit down the dumps at the moment because I've caught one and he hasn't. Yeah you have. <laughs> this turn will come. We're all using the same rigs and bait and everything so I'll do my best to try and get him one. Right, catch in a bit. Hello again everyone. The day's cracking on a bit now. It's nearly half seven now, so time for a bit of supper. Bad news is, Archie's just lost one. Decent fish as well. Definitely much bigger than the one I had. But not to worry, barbel soup rolling on that sort of thing, so... Got about halfway in, came in close, boiled up a few times. All the clay on the bottom, the mud was all stirring up and everything, and I thought, ah, this is the one. Good fish, happy days. Flaming thing dropped off, didn't it? Not to worry. Loads more time yet, loads more chances to go. In the arch. Yeah, got a life, but no. It happens, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, he's devastated, bless him, which can't blame him. Not to worry. So I'll have a bit of supper. A little protein pot. This one is a new one, protein greens. It's mango, kale and lime, this bad boy, totally different. And I actually brought some, what I call crack cocaine crisps. These onion rings, ah, just can't stop eating the blinking things once you start. Unbelievable. So hopefully, either during the night or in the morning sometime, I actually will bag another one. This time I managed to get in the landing net. So fingers firmly crossed. If anything occurs, obviously during the night, we'll get back to you. If not, we'll see you all in the morning. Unless we catch you on before it goes dark, obviously, but other than that, we'll see you in a bit, won't we, Arch? Yeah, see you later, everyone. Nice one. Catch you in a bit. Morning, everyone. It's just gone five o'clock, and this is the second one of the night. I had a little common this morning, early hours, about two o'clock. Didn't bother video on that one. This one's a proper, as they say in the press, scaly banger. It's only a little fish, but it's a cracker. Absolute cracker. And it fought like a blink of 40. Check that one out. Isn't he a stunner? Look at that. What a fantastic looking fish. Be nice when he's 20 odd pound, won't he? What a blinking beauty. I don't know how well you can see it in this light, like. What a fish, man. Spin it round and show you it. Other side. Check him out. How's that? Absolutely love it. Stunning fish. Right, I'll get him put back because it's pouring down. The camera's in the vivi at the moment with Archie manning it. <laughs> so there we go. That's three so far. Only babies, but. The cap and the hey, cheese for now. Hello everyone. Another little scaly banger in the pouring rain. Early hours of the morning. Beautiful fish. Absolutely stunning. God, you can see my breath. It's an half change of weather. But they're still feeding. Show you the side quickly. A 
them be crackers when they get bigger these bad boys. Look, check that out. Thinking awesome. Happy days. Right, I'll get it put back. Right then everyone, state the place so far. Uh, I've had four now, as you've seen. Actually still dent on that, that one that you lost last night. Well, yesterday tea time. Still loads of time left yet like. Uh, had our breakfast, just redone our rods. So just sit back and wait now. The only thing is is the weather. It's been pouring down most of the night and it's proper chilly now. I could say this morning I could see your breath, it was uh, eight degrees this morning. Boom July the second and it's eight, eight degrees, it's mad. Right, yeah, July the second, eight degrees, can't believe it. Thought I'd been sat sat here in my shorts and stuff, but it's quite chilly for the time of year, I must admit. But hopefully these fish will come along and we'll pick a few more off before we go. Gotta try and get my old mate one here like before we go. Definitely. So Cheers. Just tied them a new rig up. Nice little pop-up one. Nice little bright yellow 7 to 11 pop-up RG baits of course. A few handfuls of pellets around it, just in the margin on some weeds. Let's see how that goes. Like you say, just sit back and wait now, fingers crossed. See what happens for the rest of the day. Right, I'll catch you all in a bit. Cheers for now. Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight Dripping lights paint the sky Cracker, knew it would come eventually. Definitely. This one, dude. How good's that? Beautiful, isn't it? Stunning fish. Yeah, it's, it's almost fully lovely. scaled that side. Yeah, it is. A little beauty, that. Spin it round the side, it's got some big scales on. Yeah, spinning round some. Happy days. Ah, yeah. Looks like it's back fin. Yeah, looks class, that. Yeah. Let's have a look. It's yeah. big dorsal as well. Yeah, he's a beauty, him, so yeah. well done. Absolute cracker. Shoulders as well. Yeah, stunning fish. It's buzzing. Well done, dude. Cheers. Hello, everyone. On a bit of a quiet spell, and the rain's just the sea eased off. Still chilly, man, as you can see, I've got my blinking woolly hat on. Oh, June, eh, July the 2nd, in the blimmin' woolly hat. I'm just going to show you me uh, bait the poach for this week. Dead simple. RG baits, formerly red with crab, and I've glubbed them with the dip, the formula red and crab dip so they're all nice and coated oh well you can see them there all nice and coated with a nice sticky liquid so hopefully that'll just leak off slowly while the bait's out in the water and I've been using PVA stocking bags on the ones that are like an underhand flick and the ones down the margin just been using a bit of pellet same again the RG baits, formula and crab again nice mix of Different size pellets, two or three handfuls on each rod, or like I say, a nice little PVA bag. That's it, simple as that. That's what's doing the damage for us this week. Proper chuffed archers finally bagged one, like. It was a cracker as well, wasn't it? Nice scaly, put up a crack and fight, so he's happy again, he's smiling. He's not looking daggers at me because I've had four and he didn't have any. So he's getting there now. But he still wants a 20, obviously, or a PB. Anything over 13 and a half, is it, Arch? 13 Yeah, anything over 13 and a half will do. And that's it, job done for this, this trip. If not, we'll just carry on. Try to find him a 20. Simple as that. Happy days. Right, I'm going to crack on because it's starting to get a bit drizzly again. Don't know if you can see it, but 
just like a fan fret like a sea spray stuff it's horrible but not to worry that's it cheers then keep getting asked to show me rigs all the time when I'm out fishing so I'll show you the one I've been catching on just recently well on this trip me and Archie both on the same rig it's a nice simple blowback rig with a liner liner usual stuff as you can see nice uh, barbless hoop to go along with the rules obviously J precision J precision uh, liner liner tiny bit of silicon round the bend RG baits formula and root crab boilie go down a coated hook link tiny little sinker in the middle just to keep it flat to the bottom and obviously you move up and we've got the just a normal lead clip with a nice little uh, zooming in very well there anti-tangle sleeve just here I'll see if I can zoom in a bit better on that anti-tangle sleeve there just to aid when you cast out to stop it from tangling and going back up the rig nice two ounce lead as per the rules lead clip and a nice piece of heavy tungsten rig tubing all going along with the, the rules of the lake which are all sensible rules I must might add and Tysel Hall Rhys knows the sky, he knows what he's doing Rhys Lyle, he's no mug really good carp angler as well so that's why the rules are all sensible so yeah happy days, that's it, simple as that nice little blowback rig coated oak link little sinker halfway down and a clip, simple as it gets that's it, cheers now having a cup of tea right hand rod in the blinking pads ripped off just pulling it through the pads it's got it almost through and the last little bit of pad and the blooming oak pulled them barbless oaks man stupid idea they are <laughs> not to worry it wasn't a whacker obviously there's no whackers in here but you just don't like losing them do you whether they're big or small so just redone the rod you should have seen it on the pads where I've just been putting some pellets out and stuff to show you the spot
just off. Let's have a look. There we are. Just off them pads there, right on the far side. That little shady bit there. That's where the bait is. And that's the pads that got stuck in. The one's halfway across. Nearly got it out. Never mind. Keep at them. Catch you in a bit. Well, it's tea time on our last evening. Archie's brought some little treats for us to have. Some bad boy artery, artery clogging chicken for heat slices in puff pastry. Looking forward to them. Get one of them, well, get both of them whacked in the old, uh, the old big ridge monkey. Happy days. A few little treats for afters as well, some naughty snacks and that, so. All looking good so far. <laughs> just need a fishy piece now before it gets dark. Almost five o'clock, so just having an early tea. Gonna redo the rods shortly. Archie's already done his. We haven't put any spawns out yet. Gonna put two or three spawns on each rod for the night. About six o'clock, half six time, which was bite time last night, so, or just, just after. So, hopefully, we might have something to show you later on. If not, We'll catch you later, but I'll see you tonight before I go, before it gets dark or whatever. Okay then, I'm going to crack on and do these uh, pastries for me and Arch for our tea. And I'll speak to you all again soon. Right, this was out of the blue. Just gone 8 o'clock. Rod ripped off. Oh. Nice 16 pound. I think it's 16 pound. 16 pound steel in mirror if I can get hold of it. Doing a bit of wrestling. An angry male stiffening up. There we go. Look at that bad boy. It's a pearler, isn't it? Happy days. Proper chuff for that. What a cracking fish. Give me fun. Spin it round, show this side. That's a mint of this. Check him out. Proper little chunk. Happy days. Buzzing with that. Hey, we're getting put back. Jeez, now. Right. Check him out. Mm, pearl of that, isn't it? Absolutely. Cracking fish. Surprises in little lakes. Yeah. It's proper angry, him like. Yeah. His fins are up. Mm. Keep going. Go on, mate. There we go. Slowly going away. That's a cracker, that. Yeah. Happy days. 
Chambo. So he's actually finally bagged a nice one. Nice 13 pound four. Buzz in. You wouldn't believe the fight. <laughs> oh, what happened? The owner's just had to go in in his waders and retrieve it from the weed bed for us because it was in a load of lilies. Managed to get it out. It's just coming on dusk actually, it's nearly going to be dark before long. Absolutely buzzing with this. There you go, how good's that? Yeah. Beauty, isn't he? Yeah. Cracker. Spinning around quick and we'll have a look at the other side. Yeah, if it wasn't spawned out, it would have been a PB, wouldn't it? Yeah, four, four ounces off. But four ounces short of his PB. Still a cracking fish, oh, a good yeah. fight, wasn't it? Still. Happy days. Still got the old art going, doesn't it? Yeah, well, aye. Fantastic. Yeah. Right, we'll get him put back, dude. Yeah. Nice one. Cheers. Well done. Hello again, everyone. Thank the Lord for that. He's finally bagged a decent one. Nice £13.4, was it? Yeah, £13.4. £13. Four. Five ounces off his PB. Still got time to crack it yet, like Buzz. He's absolutely buzzing, bless him. Made his trip, so he's up over the moon. He'd be going to bed happy tonight, won't you, son? Yeah, definitely. Buzzing with that. Good scuffle, wasn't it? Oh, it was, it was awesome, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Really good fun. Mm, yeah. Yes, you earned that one, dude. Thanks. Cracking fish. Yeah. Good fish as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a beauty. Right, so that's it then. Nearly time for bed. It's almost dark here now, it's uh, 5 to 10 on a late night for us. <laughs> right, I love you and leave you, and if we don't see you in the night, same old, we'll see you again in the morning. Right, cheers for now. Good morning everybody. Nothing to report last night, fish front. I suppose all the commotion, wading about didn't help. But it's gone really quite all over the lake by the looks of it. No bubblers this morning or anything, whereas yesterday they were just all over the place. But like I say, we had a cracking trip, absolutely brilliant. Archie's fish yesterday, which we didn't realise, is actually his PB mirror. His PB that was 30 and a half was his common. And his previous PB for his mirror was 12 or 12 and a half, I think, so happy days. PB mirror for Archie, cracking stuff. So, it's time now is... 6.30 and it's a bit overcast and grim, the wind keeps getting up, I'm just trying to dry all the gear out, see it behind me there. All the mats and all that sort of gear is all out, trying to get it dried off before we pack down. We've got another probably two hours before we go, so you never know, one might rip off yet. Actually he's still fast asleep, bless him, so I'm just going to leave him. To the last minute and just uh, have a slow pack down. Kettle's on now, so I'm having the first brew of the day. Quick snack and then it's porridge time and I'll speak to you before we wrap or if we get a fish. Okay then, cheers for now. Well that's it everybody, the fat lady sang and it's blooming raining again. Horrible stupid spray, drizzly stuff. It's a bit in, it's a bit in, get in. But yeah, cracking trip really. I had six, I had two. Mirror was a PB. Absolutely fantastic. So he's over the moon with that. Still chasing that 20 for him, like, so that could be next trip or the trip after. We just have to wait and see, see how that goes. Yeah, I'm really enjoying these small lakes at the moment. It's good fun. Really enjoyed it. Uh, that's about it, really, I think. Just got to drive home now. Not so far, luckily. Um, cracking little lake. Title Hall Fisheries. Rhys Lyle runs it, he's on Facebook and uh, Instagram and everything like if you want any more details off there I'll get in touch with me and I'll I'll tell you the score so yeah that's about it so it's a good night for me and good night for him see you later everyone um, had, a good, had a good trip didn't we yeah, Dave? yeah I've enjoyed it, I've had a PB yeah it's a nice lake isn't it? yeah really good yeah great stuff thanks right we'll see you next time yeah yeah hopefully right well like I say that's it that's a wrap like I said, new subscribers are always welcome. Just click that button and you're in. Easy as that. And you'll see the rest of my vlogs as they come through. Me and Archie chasing these fish. Like I said, the main target for, for now is Archie's £20 or so. 
see how that goes. Quick view of the lake as usual, and I'm going to wrap because it's getting wet. There it is. Lovely little lake. Nobody on now. We're all, all done. Just waiting for the weekend lads to turn up. Then that's it. Jobs are good. Right, cheers for now everyone. Thanks for watching.